So let's talk about the three different types of t-tests. There are one sample t-test that compares a population to a sample. The question we're usually asking here is, is the su sample somehow different or the same as the population? It's called a one sample t-test because there is only one sample. We also have independent t-tests. This is where there are two groups. I remember this because t-tests study two things, either a population and a sample, two groups, or in what you'll see in a second, two measurement points. But we're always talking about two. If there's more than two, then it's a different kind of statistical test. In an independent t-test, there are two groups, group one and group two. And we're trying to see what is the difference between those two groups. Again, the difference is located between. We also have dependent t-tests. This is where there's two measurement points. A lot of times this is a pre and a post test. And it's the same sample of people, but we're comparing them on their first and their second measurement point to see is there a difference within this sample before and after I've done something. So again, t-tests look at two things, either a single sample compared to a population, either two groups and looking for a difference between them, or two measurement points like a pre and post test in the same sample. Those are three kinds of t-tests that we'll be discussing more in this unit.